When using a balance, make sure that it is secure on the table, it is plugged in, and that you have any measuring materials you may need. Measuring tools should either include weighing paper or a weighing tray. They should also include a spatula of some kind. Pouring a substance is not a good way to get it into the balance correctly. Now while there are many different balances as shown, they all work in essentially the same way. The first thing you should do is turn the power on. Then you should place either a weighing tray or weighing paper and zero out the balance. Now while working with weighing trays or boats is fairly simple, working with weighing paper requires that you do some folding. The folding like so ensures that you will be able to get whatever you're putting onto the paper off of the paper and successfully into whatever you're measuring it into. Now once you have put the weighing paper or tray onto the balance, it is time to zero out the balance. This is usually done by hitting tear, re-zero, or zero slash T. This is almost always not the calibrate button. That does something different and you should not have to worry about it. One thing that you'll probably notice is that even after the balance is zeroed out, the weight on the display may do a little shifting. This is because of the airflow of wherever you are. Shields can help with getting an accurate reading. Just make sure you shut the panel. What balances with shields are often very air sensitive. Something to note is that balances all have different capacities. Not all have a minimum capacity, but most do have a maximum. It's rare that you'll ever put that much on a balance though. Another note is that the differences between most balances have to do with how accurate they are. These balances can be precise from a tenth of a gram to a ten thousandth of a gram. Most balances automatically weigh substances in grams, but some do not. In the case that you seem to be adding a lot of weight and you are still a part of a gram, you're probably not measuring in grams. You should check the units on the scale. When it comes to getting an accurate reading on your balance, the single most important thing you need to know is that the balance should be clean. This means that if there are particles of some type on or around the balance, you should clean them off before using it. This is not only crucial to your measurements, it's crucial to your safety. You will have angry lab professors if you don't clean off the balance after you're done. In the case of a spill, you need to remove the weighing paper or tray, clean off the balance with a paper towel or Kim wipe, and then put the weighing paper or tray back on. This ensures accuracy and that your lab professors will not destroy you.